Hello everyone! I am back. I am back. It has been too long. But I am finally back. Um, I have not posted a video in a very long time. Probably like... I don't even know. A very good long couple of months. That doesn't even make sense. But yes. I am back with a video. I'm sorry that I've been gone so long for the few people that are probably not subscribed to my channel. I'm rambling, I've not made a video in a very long time. I hope, can you tell? I can tell, 100%, definitely. Yeah, so today, for your dictations, I am going to be doing an updated what's in my camera bag. I did another one of these just over a year ago, what's in my camera bag, but it's my camera bag has changed quite a bit since then and um, I got a couple of new lenses so I thought that I would just do an updated one so then you know what's going on but yes. But yeah I'm really excited to have these lenses especially now that I have finished university I am now a BA ONS photographic media graduate except I'm not graduating because our graduation is in October but all the same I have finished university so I will have a BA honours degree in photography oh it sounds a lot fancier than it actually is I guess if you also if you want to watch my first what's in my camera bag video I will leave a link to it in the description and box down below but yeah other than that let's get started so I'm going to get the not quite excited as exciting bit out of the way first, um, which is my camera bags. My camera bags are exactly the same um, as they were last time, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm only going to show two of them because my other one has my old camera in it and I won't show everything from the last video because it was a very long video and I want this to be a lot shorter. So I have the same bag so I'm not going to go over them too much. I can't remember the names of them though, so I do apologise. Uh, but I have two bags that I mainly use. The first one is a Canon bag. It's like a bag that has that goes over your shoulder, or it has a thing at the back, so then you can put it around your waist. Um, I got this free when I bought my uh, camera body. When I bought my new camera body, uh, for like a year and a half ago now, and it's actually a really decent bag. Like I said, it has like uh, metal straps and it's got a decent amount of space inside with a mesh pocket at the top and a pocket at the front. Um, and it also does come with dividers that are Velcro onto the sides, which are also very handy. But I don't tend to use them just for this bag because with the lens that I have now, it only just fits my camera with a lens that only just fits in the bag. I'm slapping my knee. It's a very good bag. It's good if I'm only, say, taking one lens um, on the go. And it's, yeah, it's, it's sturdy and I've used it a lot and it is very useful. The second bag is a low pro bag, a uh, low pro backpack that looks like this. It has a compartment on the top, like this. Um, so you can store things, say, if you lunch or like uh, camera accessories or anything else that you want to store. There is also a pocket at the front. Uh, there's a zip at the side for your laptop and my laptop only just fits in. I have the Apple Mac 13 inch and that only just fits in here so it's a good job that I didn't have the 15 inch one otherwise I would be struggling <laughs> immensely to fit that in. Um, and then it has a compartment at the bottom for your camera so it lifts up a flap like this and then it's it's a pocket here and then there is a compartment here and um, yeah and then it has also the velcro movable compartments as well and i do also have an a lens in here which is my old telephoto lens this is the canon 55 to 250 millimeter lens a very good lens i definitely recommend if you're uh, if you're looking for a good telephoto lens that does not break the back. Yeah, this is my ba those bags. I don't tend to use my low pro one very often. I have been using it a little bit more often recently because I have been going on shoots where I'm not quite sure what equipment. I take more equipment with me, so it's just easy to take this. But um, 
I actually would quite like to get a different or another backpack camera bag because like it's good for all the different compartments but at the same time I could probably only just about fit all my camera equipment like my free lenses and my camera body I could probably only just about fit in here um, I don't think it's a very good use of space I don't I feel like it's a very big bag for the amount of things that you can fit in it so I am tempted to at some point um, purchase a different another backpack camera bag which is kind of a bit more suited to what I want and also one that fits my tripod in because my tripod is enormous and it does not fit in this it's like about that much higher than this bag which isn't good but yeah they are my camera bags so my camera body hasn't changed since I last did this video um, I'm filming with that camera body now it is the Canon 70D it is a great camera I've had it for about a year and a half now um, originally I had the Canon 1000D uh, but obviously I upgraded uh, and it's a great camera and I love that it has um, a flip screen so I can film videos and actually see what I'm looking at which is a lot better um, I am but yeah, it's a great camera and I know a lot of people use it for filming, uh, YouTubers specifically. Um, it's a very good camera for filming, but yeah, that is my camera. And I'm also filming on my kit lens that came with this camera, which also again, ha I have hasn't changed. However, I have upgraded like my use of this lens. It's just the Canon 18-55mm uh, to 55 kit lens. Um, with a filter, neutral density, not neutral density, UV filter even, there we go, uh, and a hood on. I'm just using this for the purpose of this video, I am going to be filming on my new lens which I will get to very soon in a second. But yeah, I will show you my lenses that I ha have now got, my lens collection. So I have three lenses that I use now. Um, I've recently had two upgrades of, I've upgraded two of my lenses which I will show you in a minute but I will first show you, I showed this in my last video as well, this is just my Canon 50mm 1.4 lens, um, this is a very popular lens with Canon users, it's a great portrait lens but I've, I like using it for things like if I want like a really shallow depth of field. Um, like say if I'm doing like artsy shots or sort or that sort of thing like outdoor shots I love like it when I want a really shallow depth of field I love using this lens and um, yeah it's just a very good lens I've heard that the 1.2 is also very good but I don't think I'll be upgrading to that because for the sort of work that I want to do like animal like um, equine and like dog uh, photography. I don't really need a lens like this so I don't use it for those purposes that often but the next lenses that I have I will definitely be using more for that sort of thing but yeah this is just I still use this a lot I have used this a lot um, I just but um, and it's just a handy lens to have in your bag really so yeah you can't go wrong with the nifty 50 as they call it and I guess it is nifty when you think about it. My next two lenses are ones that I have upgraded in the past couple of months. Um, so, I like as I said, since I knew I was, I finished university now and I wanted to upgrade my telephoto lens because obviously I don't really want to start, I wanted to have better lenses so I had better, could produce better photographs for clients and I didn't really want to start doing paid work or proper paid work until I had upgraded my telephoto lens and I finally got one so the lens that I have upgraded to is the Canon 70 to 200 f4 um, L series lens I think this is the first L series the first 70 to 200 one I know there is a couple of versions because there is the f2.8 um, I bought this off somebody from uni they were selling it secondhand because not not that it was there was anything wrong with the lens, they just upgraded to the f2.8 lens. So I got this for like half the price of what it's actually worth. I think this is originally worth around, or this particular lens is worth 
around like 700 pounds and I got it for about 350 which was really good and it's still in really good condition like it works fine there's nothing faulty with it but um yeah it just when I saw that he was selling it I had to kind of grab it before anybody else did because I wasn't really prepared to spend £700 on a lens, especially because I don't have £700 at the moment, or I didn't have £700 before either, so uh, yeah, I got this, so it came with this. I actually, it doesn't have a filter on it, which I need to get, and also I have lost the lens cap. I went to the Yorkshire show the other week and took my camera with me with this lens on, and I obviously didn't put the lens cut back on so I've lost it so I need to find a replacement for that and then it just came with a hood like this one of the round ones um, and obviously it goes on but like that storage um, but yeah I absolutely love this lens I haven't used it masses but I've taken it to Chats with Horse Trials I've taken it to Cheshire um, not Cheshire Yorkshire show and I have taken it and I've done a like quite a photo shoot with it and I absolutely love it it's such a good lens like I can full-on tell the difference between this lens and my old lens here my 25 to 55 to 250 there is such like the quality is amazing I'm so impressed with this lens um, and I'm very glad that I finally upgraded it obviously the downside of this is that this is my do you want the sizing it's a lot smaller and it's also a lot heavier um, it did come with the um, that thing that goes around so you can attach it to a tripod it has come with that but I did take it off because I wasn't going to use it but um, yeah I am I have been loving this lens so far and I'm so excited to take it to future shows I'm hoping if I go to Kilnsey show this year then if I take my camera I will be taking this so I mainly I do use this for equine portrait um, equine photography. I mainly use it for event photography so like I said like going to pl places like Chats with Horse Trials where obviously you're shooting a horse in movement um, but yeah um, I do use it for like normal equine shoots as well but I feel like I will use the next the other lens that I am about to show you a little bit more because personally it's kind of my favourite taste but yeah and the final lens that I have my final my newest lens I should say um, is the Canon 24 to 105 f4 mm uh, L series lens um, now I know this is a typical standard lens for if say if you buy a full frame camera then you will with a lens then generally this is the lens that you will get with it it's like the kit lens um, but I got this for my birthday because I have been wanting to like get an upgrade lens to replace my kit lens that my camera came with because I wanted something that was better quality and generally my kit lens is the lens that I use the most because I like the focal length of it um, I, obviously it's not always great for things like equine and pet portraiture but I do use it a lot with that sort of photography so I wanted something with a good focal range uh, and better quality just to like uh, upgrade for this kit lens that I'm used, filming with now um, and I have tried one of these. I took one of these out for uni at the beginning of the year and I really liked it. Um, I could definitely see a, quality, a better quality, obviously. It's an L-series lens, so the quality is pretty good. Um, but yeah, because I was debating, I was going through so many choices because I was tempted to get the 17 to 50 millimeter lens, which is like this one with the gold um, with the gold band around it but that was actually around the same price as this and this is an L series lens and the other one isn't so that was kind of in the mid range so I after a lot of research I did decide to go for this and as I said I got it for my birthday because my birthday was earlier this month earlier in July uh, it's my 21st feeling I'm not actually feeling that old as I thought I would do to be honest but yeah so um, yeah, I haven't, I've only used this like once a little bit um, since I've got it. I've not actually used it properly yet, but I'm really looking forward to using it and seeing the shots that I will get with it. So uh, yeah, so it just came like this and then it came with 
a lens hood and it has a filter on it. I got they bought me a filter with it just like a UV filter just to protect it from any scratches and then it also came with a bag um, just like a drawstring bag to protect the lens but yeah it's great. I'm really looking forward to using it. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is the factor of how heavy it is because it's a lot heavier than my original kit lens but I will live with it for the quality. Uh, that's it in my camera bag. Uh, hopefully this video is a bit shorter than the last one but I hope you enjoyed seeing the updated version of my camera bag and yeah hopefully I will start posting videos a little more often. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will try and list all the things that I've showed you in the description box down below and I will see you again very soon. Bye!